In the last section, we learn about utilizing various lenses for photography, mastering composition techniques and exercising control over perspective. While taking photos, we don't limit ourselves to capturing only landscapes in nature. We make an effort to include the small details of nature such as insects, leaves, flowers, tiny creatures, trees and even portraits that we come across in the nature. We strive to incorporate all these elements into our photographs. Apart from that, many people enjoy studio photography. Capturing various aspects of such objects brings a unique joy as well. Capturing photographs of enchanting landscapes requires skill. When engaging in various types of photography, paying attention to an important aspect becomes crucial and that aspect is the background in the photograph. While photographing in the studio, selecting a good backdrop is of utmost importance. In portrait photography, the choice of background is crucial in revealing the personality of the subject. A cluttered background or distracting background can distract from the focus on the subject, whereas a well-chosen background enhances the overall composition. By considering the background, you can determine which elements to include or exclude. This aspect holds great significance in portrait photography. To effectively use the background, keep the composition simple and straightforward. The artwork should have a clean and uncluttered background. The background should be out of focus. In your frame, avoid leaving empty space. Capture photos from different angles. Take photos from a different perspective as well. By using contrasting colors, you can create a visual impact. You can choose a background that is either darker or has a different tone compared to the object. It is possible to experiment with selecting contrasting colors to achieve this effect. The background of a photo holds immense importance. When doing photography in a studio, you need to have complete control over the lighting scheme, composition and background. However, when it comes to nature photography, you don't have control over all these factors. That's why selecting the right background becomes extremely crucial. That means you need to study what types of backgrounds are available and what type of background you need. It is important to first practice and explore different types of backgrounds to understand your preferences and the specific style or mood you want to achieve. When capturing photos of small sized objects, certain things require attention. First and the foremost, the sharpness of the background. When capturing photos of flowers, having the background out of focus can make the flowers stand out more prominently. Similarly, understanding the direction of light and its impact on the flower can reveal intricate details and enhance the overall level of detail in the image. The subject, specifically the flower you want to photograph, should be extremely sharp in photo. While all these aspects are taken care of, the background often remains overlooked or neglected. For this reason, in nature photography, understanding the desired background and knowing techniques to deal with the unsuitable backgrounds is crucial. When photographing flowers, it is important to have a out of focus background so that your focus is directed towards the flower itself. Objects in the background should be out of focus while the flower remains sharp. This means that having a background out of focus is of utmost importance in order to highlight the flower. The direction from which the light falls on the subject is very important. Depending on the direction of light, 
determines the object's color, tones, depth, detail, and texture. The sharpness of a flower should never be compromised. When achieving a sharp focus, proper use of aperture should be employed to minimize the depth of field, ensuring that the background remains out of focus. However, if for any reason this is not possible, one should choose a distant background. The direction of light coming from behind our subject enhances transparency and reveals other details. Similarly, semi-transparent flowers appear exceptionally vibrant due to their highly saturated colors. While the absence of direct light on the background creates a darker backdrop, allowing the flower to stand out even more. As a result, their colors appear more radiant and glossier. When capturing photos of small natural objects, it is important for you to get very close to those. To achieve this proximity, you can make use of lenses with various focal lengths. As a result, the obtained results will also be distinct and unique. For example, if you use a macro lens with a focal length of 24mm to capture photos of a flower, you will have multiple flowers appearing sharp in the photo because a lens with a shorter focal length has a deep depth of field. Moreover, a large expanse of the flower's background will also be included in the photo, creating everything sharp in the background. As a result, the individual importance of the flower may be diminished. Instead of using a 24mm focal length lens, you can use a 50mm or 100mm macro lens to control the depth of field and capture beautiful photos. With these lenses, you can also limit the extent of the background and effectively convey the environment in which the flowers are present. Using a telephoto lens helps to narrow down the field of view and reduce distracting background objects. It allows you to maintain a distance from the subject, preventing your shadow from falling on it. With precise control over the depth of field, you can create a pleasing out-of-focus background and selectively choose what elements are included in your composition. This gives you the creative freedom to capture the desired elements and create a more impactful and focused photo. By using a reversal ring and extension tube, you can get close to small objects and achieve the desired background. Considering some important factors, you can choose the appropriate background for your photo. Direction of light, quality of light, by controlling the depth of field allows you to create an out of focus background. Using a lens of the correct focal length and aperture, keeping the light intensity low on the background and creating shadows if it is too bright. Choosing a suitable perspective and viewpoint to compose the background effectively. The background with a high level of detail should always be avoided. The background should not compete with other objects' colors. The background color should never be brighter than the colors of the object. When shooting against the light, background should be kept in silhouette. According to the important aspect of composition, such as sprouting should be avoided.